If I sound a little off, it's because I've been dealing with a head cold for a little bit. But that's neither here nor there. The post-apocalyptic train is still going forward on the rail, and we're all hopping on board. The alienator, as we all know, has been tracking the movements of the mechanist. Finally isolated where the mechanist lair is, which is here. And she's now come to the conclusion that since she will not take a threat to humanity very lightly, she's got to take on the mechanist and stop that threat forever. So I think we all know how this thing's going to work out. So let's start the trail of the alienator versus the mechanist. And we'll see how quickly she can actually navigate through this dungeon that she's going into. Should work out pretty well. But we shall see. Ada has her brand new MSAT. We should be able to decode the doors to gain easy access. That's all fine and cool. And we're back. Alienator is only aware of duty. Use this. All right, while she's doing that, let's go ahead and take a little gander around the area here. Pick up a couple of things. A few souvenirs. Completed. Is that oil? That's oil. in here like a boss. Look at that confidence in her stride. This mechanist is going down. Incoming robot. Incoming robot. Where's Ada walking out to? We got some business to conduct. Well, this is pretty tempting. Security offline. 
<laughs> Good stuff. Good stuff. of the Commonwealth. Ada, get out of the way. I'm salvaging parts. Use this. These days, I'm gonna do something with all this junk I'm collecting. Just gotta build like a robot companion. I mean, a good one. Robot companion that doesn't have pity parties like certain robot companions. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Alright. Look at this guy. Come on, let's get some damage in here. Ah, wait, hold up. <laughs> Wrong weapon. Wrong weapon. Which weapon am I using? There we go. Hit the wrong button. It happens, you know. And by the time I get the right weapon, the crisis is over. It's okay, we'll recover. There's usually a couple of robots that attack us up here. Oh, there they are. Yeah! Twiddle D and Twiddle Dumb. There they are. Oh, and one of the best parts of this whole structure. Fish in a barrel. <laughs> oh, not you. Yeah, you. Are you serious? She still can't hit that? Oh, there we go. Grab 
have some junk. Let's go. Let's go meet the locust. Good stuff laying around here. Alright, there's gonna be Big Daddy up there on the platform. There he is. Boom! That's what we like to see. See what he's been hiding up here. Frag grenades and the like. Did I get these guys? Yeah. Oop. Not him. I once had a companion get stuck in there, so I had to go all the way back and get them when I just discovered that they disappeared mysteriously. I was not too thrilled, to say the least. So this is in there. Use this. There's a lot of good finds in this place. Oh, that's empty. Ooh, battery? Nice. Use this. Let's go ahead and get a new perk. Rifleman 4. You didn't lose them, they're smacking you around. Yeah. Toothpaste and a toothbrush. Just 
just what she needs. Dodging those searing hot lasers. Ooh. <laughs> Look at that guy. <laughs> He's breakdancing. All he needs is some cardboard underneath him. Yeah. Get his. <laughs> Guy's a legend, a hero. Wondering too. Man, look at this junk she has. All right, let's take a look at this. Compensator. All right. Well, triple barrel. Standard speed. Better range. Marksman barrel. Red shot. Let's find out what beam barrel does. Oh my word! Look at that! Look at that! Ooh yeah, let's try that out. <laughs> I just plucked him out of the sky. And I'll have you know, Machinus, if there are any more toothbrushes in this joint, I'm grabbing them. I guess Ada fell off the platform. That's what usually happens with companions. They can't stay on for some reason. I mean, I know I'm playing with God Mode on and all that, but if you go through this thing... Here. ...not using any cheats, this dungeon does take a while. I remember doing that several times over. And this place also has a ton of wonderful scrap. you have to load your companions down with to get as much as you possibly can. Look, 
at that. A wake master alarm clock. That's like the crowning achievement of alarm clocks. Psycho buff. Maybe we should go visit Mama Murphy after this. <laughs> it's like, Murphy, this is the last thing you'll ever inject into your veins. Go on, give it a twirl. Let's see what happens. open open the door take a look at all the goodies in here Missiles are always a welcome sight. More drugs. It makes me want to talk to Murphy even more. <laughs> Ada, please. Ada, please, just... to get out of the way, man. Ugh. The past yields such interesting finds. Well, I'm finding you in my way. Now go. Thank you. Get out of the door. Oh, good lord, these are companions. Ah, get me out of here. Okay. Back to business. Oh, shooting gallery time. Let's go ahead and save our progress. Ooh. Ooh. science fiction piece right there. Septic.
Look at this thing. Oh, dude, she's not doing a very good job of shooting. Alright, enough of this nonsense. You gotta get personal with these things. Torn about which is better, the straight beam or the automatic? I'm not sure. I like that low humming sound it makes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no! I don't want bad status. Wrong one. Sorry. Oh, come on now. <clears throat> Let's go. Yeah, that's what I want. Security door. Gotta open this bad boy up. So we're gonna take on the mechanist. And this is the last door up here. What I've learned to do over the years of playing through this, Scan this is as soon as this door opens, I always save because there's a few times the fight would glitch and the mechanist would actually go into a uh, like a verbal loop that would not progress the fight. And I've never been able to actually tell what causes that. Sparks, make me some pancakes. And this weapon is pretty powerful. Where's oh my word? Look at all this goodness. Who's firing? Who's shooting? Why is it oh? It's not you, Sparks. You're my favorite. Live, Sparks. Live. Ooh. 
Uh oh. <laughs> Throw yourself at her, Sparks. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, I love bad guys. They're funny. What was that? <laughs> it's like a little floating arm. <laughs> Guards! More guards! Ooh, look at that glitch. Look at that. You're a little stretched out, huh? Ah! Ooh. Those alive bots are annoying, man. They're like nipping at you. Oh. Fool. Oh, look at this guy. Ah! Oh, cool. Oh, look at that glitch. Look at that. Wow. That's stretched out. Accusing me of being a bad guy. You've destroyed my robot allies. They seek to save the people of the Commonwealth, and yet you deliberately stand in their way. I'm not a villain. I just want you to hear me out, face to face. Very well. I will hear you out, but only for the sake of the Commonwealth. Sparks, with me. Well, that glitch is still there. Look at that. This guy's stretched to his very limits. Let us discuss this. Who are you? Don't you think it's time you ditched that mask? You're... You're right. I'm Isabel Cruz. The mechanist was just an easy way for me to help the Commonwealth. But all my technical knowledge and all of these resources and I still failed. How does the Commonwealth have any hope against people like you? Hey, I'm not the enemy. I'm the one trying to protect the Commonwealth against your robots. They have taken innocent lives. My friends, they were simple traitors, all dead at the hands of your robots. That can't be right. Explain yourself. You messed up. I got the truth out of one of your robo-brains. They think they're saving people by killing them. Saving by... killing? Oh, man. It's the logic. It's there. I can see it now. I was hoping it was the Robo Brains, an issue with their memory wipes. All right. Their primary directive was flawed. Uh oh, well, that's not going to go over too well. Well, your technicality cost a lot of innocent people their lives. Judging from the numbers in the data dump. If even a small percentage are innocents, I wanted to help the Commonwealth. And robots are all I know. I found this place and figured I could finally do my part. I accept full responsibility. I can't take back what I've done or even atone for it. But 
This doesn't have to end in violence. That's where you're wrong, Mechanist. The only way this ends is with violence. Why did I have a feeling you'd say that? Yeah, where'd she go? She down? She up here? There she is. Whoops. Oh, where did her body go? Oh, there it is. You know, maybe I can grab a piece of her brain and bring it to Dr. Amari so we can see her backstory. <laughs> hey, if it worked on Kellogg, it should work on her. Ah, dude. Oh, drop it. There we go. Where's little Sparks? There he is. Shut down the facility. And cancel the security alert. There we go. Stop running away. You can start by doing that. Hey, Ada. You've done it. You stopped the mechanist. It's over. The mechanist is dead. A just end for the pain and suffering inflicted. It does not bring back my friends. But if not for their deaths, the mechanist may still be alive, posing a threat to the Commonwealth. Had those robots remained unchecked, I'm certain the damage would have been extensive, halting, if not reversing, any progress that has been made here. With this knowledge, I am finally registering feelings of satisfaction and accomplishment, and I have you to thank for it. As a result, I have decided to stay here. There is one remaining matter to consider. The mechanist is defeated, but my radar beacon is still picking up several signals. I fear the Commonwealth is still littered with those rogue robots. Eliminating them would be tying up loose ends, to use a common phrase. Sure, Ada. Sure. Good. I'll check now. I'm picking up multiple signals this time. Caution is advised. All right, making us dealt with. Robots told to stand down, but of course that's not going to happen. The Commonwealth is filled with these things. And so we'll take up all of that kind of business and dealing with rogue robots and continuing on with the mission of the alienator to protect the people of the Commonwealth at a later time. So stay cool out there. We'll check you later.